from Mexico in the center of Central America right down to the tip of Chile. The map is turning pink and the Brazilian election is still to come. Is it pink? Is it red? Well, we'll discuss what all of that means. But the weather vane uh, has well and truly turned when Colombia returns, a former guerrilla as its new president. And Washington welcomes the election of the new president more or less warmly. Is this a sign of the pink tide? Or is it a sign that perhaps it's not as pink as some would like to describe it as? I have been involved with Latin America for so long, I've seen the map turn shades of red and pink and be reversed many, many times. The question is, though, with the increasing dependence on trade with China, Throughout Latin America, every Latin American country has China as its main trading partner, with Russia and China beginning military cooperation, for example, with Nicaragua beleaguered, besieged by the United States, a potential rerun of the Cuban Missile Crisis of 80 years ago nearly now. Let me say that again because that's definitely not true. A replay of the Cuban-America-Russian crisis of 60 years ago or more is a distinct possibility, not least because U.S. hostility towards Cuba shows no sign of declining. Are these irreversible changes? Is the Washington, D.C. government accommodating itself to them or merely biding its time? before it can topple some of these governments and put this process into reverse. Why does all of this matter? Well, many people watching this program will have relatives in Latin America. Millions of people from the Arab world emigrated to or have become the families of those who did throughout Latin America. But secondly, what happens in Latin America, Monroe described it as the U.S.'s backyard, is obviously of geopolitical importance. And if there are new relationships being formed between, for example, Venezuela and Iran, between Nicaragua and Russia and China, and if the relationship between Russia and Cuba is to intensify rather than weaken, that obviously is of importance in the great geopolitical game that we try to follow here on Kali Mahora. What do I know? I'm just the enthusiastic amateur. I'm surrounded, as always, by a panel of distinguished experts, and we better hear from them.